Hello, my name is Leopold Armesto and in this presentation I'm going to introduce the intelligent house. I'm going to describe the main elements of this intelligent house we are proposing. So this is the outline of the presentation. We're going to uh, describe the, the intelligent house. Uh, we're going to show you the layout, uh, some of the printable parts and also some laser cutted parts. Um, a brief description about the electronics and in particular the three instances of the of the house which are the living room, the bedroom and the kitchen. So the intelligent house, the idea of this, uh, in this house is to, uh, we have developed as a three separated modules in this case or instances. One is the living room as I said before, the bedroom and the kitchen. The aim of the, the living room is to teach the importance of saving energy, particularly it's inspired on, uh, in passive houses and the idea is to control the temperature of the living room uh, using a smart combination of heating and cooling systems. And of course, since we are using low cost electronics, this kind of uh, control temperature has to be seen as, uh, uh, let's say, emulated or uh, let's say trying to reproduce the conditions that we would have in a, in a real house. But of course, we are not going to, to actually uh, have the same kind, let's say, kind of uh, devices and systems of a, of a real intelligent house, like in a, for controlling temperature, like uh, we do in passive houses. Also, with the bedroom, we are going to implement some kind of automatic light -like control. So the idea is that to uh, detect whether or not there's a, a person inside the, the bedroom, and also we're going to combine that with, uh, let's say, uh, reducing the noise, the external noise that we have by closing the window. And in the kitchen, the idea we have is to detect fire and smoke. And if that's the case, then we need to beep an alarm and open and close the window accordingly, depending if we have smoke or fire. Well, this is uh, the layout of the house. As I said before, we have three instances in our house. You have uh, all the CAD files uh, that have been developed in, in SOLIDWORKS. You can download them in this URL you can see here. And here you can f see also a rendering that we use uh, in order to provide um, an interactive view. We use Tinkercad as well. And we have different kind of, uh, let's say, versions of this house in Tinkercad in which you can grasp an idea of what kind of uh, developments we have done so far. So we have, uh, or you can print the, the instances of the house, you can print them. They are also available in Tinkercad together with, let's say, uh, the objects that we will use to decorate uh, these uh, rooms. And uh, all of this is uh, available uh, for you in order to print. Uh, and they have been, let's say, um, designed so they can use standard printers, so you don't need a, a very uh, big one printer, just a standard one with uh, 20, time, 20 uh, centimeters squared. Uh, bed for the printer. Also, there's an alternative in order to, if you want to manufacture this, this house, you can use laser cutted parts as well. Uh, in that case, you have to use uh, a four uh, millimeter uh, wood uh, in which you, if you can um, um, outsource, uh, you have the drawings and you can outsource these, uh, these uh, parts if you don't have a, a laser cutter. And some of them are made from wood and others are made uh, from transparent plastic with one millimeter uh, depth. Uh, like uh, they are used for the ceiling and uh, for the windows and that's basically all the parts we need. Also, uh, we are going to use uh, a set of electronics. I'm going to briefly describe them and then later on on the presentations we are going to see more detailed um, or description about these electronics. Uh, the idea is that we will have a microcontroller on the core of our application. That could be an ESP32, an Arduino, or a Raspberry Pi Pico. And each of the uh, instances of the house will have a set of sensors and actuators. Depending on the type of signals of these sensors, they will be connected accordingly to uh, uh, on, the, on the microcontroller. And the idea is that we want to develop uh, some kind of a smart application so we can remotely control the house in order to uh, monitor but also to uh, activate and deactivate these, uh, these electronics or, uh, or let's say in this case uh, the, the heater or the fan or whatever we want to do. 
Uh, just a small comment about uh, using the Raspberry Pi Pico. It only has three analog inputs that and we are proposing to use four analog sensors. But in particular, uh, the gas sensor and also uh, the mic, they have a potentiometer so that, and they include also a digital signal. So instead of the analog signal, if you are going to use the Raspberry Pi Pico, then what we suggest is to use the digital signal uh, instead. So the living room, uh, it includes a servo in order to control uh, a window. It includes a heater in order to produce heat within uh, the, the living room. It also it includes here, uh, as you can see, a small zoom of this thing here. Uh, there's, a, there's a thermistor, it's an NTC uh, sensor that will be used to measure the temperature. And also includes uh, a fan in order to introduce uh, air, fresh air on, on the living room. And here behind the fan, you can see here an adapter of this fan with a tube. That's uh, because we're going to introduce fresh air, but uh, that goes under the ground as many passive houses do in order to have a, a let's say, stable uh, temperature on the, on the air. And also we will include a, a screen, a small screen here in order to display data. In the bedroom, we will use a PR sensor to detect the presence of uh, if someone is in, inside the room. We will use a servo in order to open and close a window. Uh, we will use a mic, in this case, to detect sound, external sound. And we will use a light sensor, an LDR sensor, to detect ambient light, external ambient light. And we will use some RGB LEDs in order to uh, produ produce illumination on the, on the bedroom. Uh, with uh, a powerful set of colors. And in the kitchen, uh, we will have also another servo in order to control or to open and close the window. Uh, we will use a flame sensor in order to detect a fire. This flame sensor, it's, it's uh, inside this uh, oven. Yeah, uh, we will have a buzzer. Uh, here you have the buzzer and also here you have uh, another view of the buzzer. And also we will have a gas sensor here inside, which is hidden, but it will be used in order to detect the gas. Well, in this presentation, I have described uh, the intelligent house. Thank you very much.